Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and welcome to The Charging, Volume 5 for our staff meeting on Wednesday, January 17th. I want to begin with just a couple of quick reminders. Uh, we're in the throes of both scheduling uh, and semester switching, so just a couple of key days for remembering uh, for you and for your students. A uh, reminder that on Friday uh, the 12th, uh, all of your homeroom students should have turned in to you by then their scheduling worksheets. And again, we're asking all homeroom advisors to hang on to those worksheets. Uh, two, next week, starting on the 15th, is the finals week. Finals begin on Wednesday um, the 17th, uh, and that'll also be the end of the semester through the end of the week and records day on Monday. Um, on Monday, um, January 15th, uh, we're going to have placed in your mailboxes copies of all students' second semester or their schedules in general with second semester on it. Uh, given that this is the first time we're transitioning um, with our new semesterized courses, we want all students to be able to see their schedules, um, have an opportunity to talk about how um, your schedule might change, but your teachers should be the same. And so we want to get that in the hands to make sure there aren't any errors with with uh, different teachers at different semesters, um, no issues with a, a student dropped a class first semester, but the, we never dropped the second semester if it's a year-long class or if there's any um, gaps in the schedule. So we'll be sending out uh, an email later this week or weekend about you know just some of the look-fors, but wanted you to know that we're going to ask that in homeroom on Monday the 15th that all uh, students receive a copy of their uh, schedules. Um, reminder, this was previously communicated that on uh, Tuesday, um, January 23rd, the first day of second semester in homeroom, uh, we're going to begin the window for students to be able to sign up for uh, their classes in Infinite Campus. So we will be sending out uh, a brief video that you'll play during homeroom that students will watch uh, to explain to them how they're actually going to take what they put on their scheduling worksheets and actually put it in Infinite Campus. So. Stay tuned for that. And then finally, if you're in your summary year, uh, keep in mind that uh, uh, right around now, we should be setting up our SLO meetings with your evaluator to discuss where you're at in the midway point in our process. So just a couple reminders for you. So as you know, we had Explore Night this, uh, this week and just wanted to show you a slide that was put together for one of our parent meetings. Um, and the, the point of the slide was to talk about all that is offered uh, at North and all the things, great things that are going on. And um, so just wanted to share this with you. Uh, again, thank you to all of to all of you uh, for your roles in making Explore Night really successful. I think we, we put a very good foot forward for our current and uh, especially our new or incoming families um, of what North is all about. So thought this was a cool graphic and wanted to share. At the beginning of the year, we talked about our pyramid of priorities and, and every professional learning that we've done so far, we're grounding it within this pyramid. Um, and, and so for this uh, month's staff meeting, uh, we want to specifically look at uh, one part of that pyramid, the safe, healthy, and welcoming school environments. Um, and so our objective for our staff meeting on Wednesday is to build capacity around um, for all of us in the pyramid of priorities and specifically under the, um, the level of, of the pyramid of safe, healthy, and welcoming school environments. So we're going to work on building our collective capacity in that area. Specifically, uh, we have three uh, what seem to be separate um, kind of focus areas, but all we see as building that capacity around that safe, healthy, and welcoming school environment. So three different activities. Um, first is going to be um, a thing on Project Adam, uh, which is an initiative that the district is taking on to create heart safe schools. I should have seen an email earlier uh, from Vicki Fors, our school nurse. Uh, she's going to talk to us just a little bit about what we're trying to do as a district and a school community related to Project Adam. Um, we're then going to do kind of a um, an act, two different activities, kind of uh, sharing back and forth on cultural responsiveness uh, led by our ACE committee, um, and then a conversation around homeroom advisors related to student scheduling again, because we're in the middle of that uh, being led by our school counseling team. So specifically, our lesson plan, our plan for the staff meeting with these three capacity building activities is we're going to all meet and convene in the library 
uh, at 3.15, where we're going to begin with uh, Victoria presenting, um, again, that idea of wh what Project Adam is and what we're doing. Um, and then starting at 3.30, we're going to go through kind of a, a two-step rotation. Uh, we're going to be grouped by homeroom advisor levels, what you're currently uh, the homeroom advisor for. Uh, so group A is freshmen and sophomores. Uh, you're going to begin or stay in the library um, and go go through and participate in our cultural responsive activity put together by the ACE committee. At that same time, group B, uh, current junior and senior homeroom advisors, uh, you're going to be in the tech center um, and going through um, two separate things, one for the juniors and one for the seniors related to student scheduling or in the senior case, uh, it's kind of the senior year experience. Um, and then at four o'clock, we're going to switch. Um, and so these will be the two activities that you'll go through in that rotation. Uh, and our hope is as we've gone through uh, both the Project Adam and as well as the cultural responsiveness activity and the student schedules is we're looking to build capacity um, as individuals in the school and as homeroom advisors to learn more, to just have more understanding of of these areas um, in that role. So to get ready for the meeting, um, this is what we're asking you to do. One, watch the charging video, which you're doing now. Uh, two, in the email that you received um, the charging in, there's a link to an article. Uh, it's a brief article just about uh, cultural responsiveness. Um, ask that you just read that, take that out, give it a once over. And then we're asking that all homeroom advisors bring with you the student scheduling worksheets that your students turned into you on the 12th. We're going to use those right away as when we're talking about the insights and whatever else that you've got those those uh, got those there in front of you. So uh, if you could do those three things uh, for Wednesday, uh, that should get us prepared. Uh, so thank you for watching the charging. If you have any questions, please let us know. Otherwise, we will see everyone together on the 17th. Thank you.